So let's start to look how we can create a vertical gradient effect where we have a gradual effect and a instant transition here. So let's start to add the vertical gradient background color in chart.js. First of all, make sure you have the boiler template and you can find the boiler template in here. This is the link chart.js3.com getting started. And you can find this link as well in the description box. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want the source code of this video or many of my other videos, check out my Patreon page here. All right. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to create a plugin. So we're going to go into the options and in the options, we put a comma here and we're going to say plugins. And this is an array because we can have multiple plugins. And what I will say here, this will be the uh, vertical gradient BG. I'll just copy it like that. Then what I will say here is slash slash. And we'll say here the plugin block. Now we say a constant vertical gradient BG. And this in here will say uh, the ID will be equal to this. And of course, when would we like to draw this? We want to make sure we draw this uh, at the very back of our chart. So you can see these grid lines as well. So I'm going to say before we draw anything, we want to draw this rectangle that will cover the chart area. So I'm going to say chart, arcs, and plugins. Then what I want to do here is do an object destructuring. And if you don't know what an object destructuring is, please check out in the description box. There's a video uh, understanding chart as yes, object destructuring. Very important to know. So what I'm going to do here is I want to have the CTX. I want to have the chart area. And I will break down the chart area into top, bottom, left, right, width and height. All right, so now I have these here that should be more than sufficient. The next thing what I want to do is I want to save all variables of all and have a default uh, set up like this here, which will basically recognize this as our default. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle shape that will cover from left to right, top to bottom. So I'm going to say a CTX that fill style for the color. And I'm just going to get a basic color here that I have here above, which you can find here the border color. I'm going to grab this color, but I will give it a slightly lighter color so it's easy to spot. I'll say 0.1. That means 10% uh, visibility and 90% transparency. Next, what I want to do, I want to draw in the canvas the rectangle. So I say your CTX fill rec. And then we can say here the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, the width, and the height. So this will be quite easy because we have our chart area and we know already here the width and height are already in here. So I'm just going to borrow those and put it in there. The X coordinate will be the very left of it. So that's the left coordinate of this one. And the Y coordinate indicates the uh, vertical level and that will be from the very top to the bottom. So if I save this, refresh, you can see now we have a gray or grayish area. Now we're done with this, but of course this color should be converted into a gradient color. So how do we do this? Well, basically this needs to be adjusted, but to do that, we first need to set the gradient effect. And our gradient effect here will be basically on a vertical level. So let's start to work on that. So I'm going to say here constant, and we can say here gradient BG or gradient background color will be equal to CTX create a linear gradient effect. That's basically what we want to do, but let's call it linear gradient. And for this, we have the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, the width and the height. So this here is very important because this will eventually define how much of our canvas will become a gradient. Well, in this case, I want to work with top to bottom. And I don't want to work with left and right because if you do top, bottom and left and right, you get a diagonal effect. I don't want that. I only want a vertical effect from top to bottom, or at least from top to bottom, we can control the colors and do whatever we want. So what I'm going to say here, this X will be zero and the width will be zero. So we say, do not focus on this here. What I want is the very top basically. So what I'm going to say here is the top and then here the height will be easy. It's just a height here that we can just borrow. All right. Now we have this part. Now we need to start to give this a gradient color or assign a color and when to switch colors. So we're going to say here gradient BG dot, and then we're going to put in here add a color 
stop or basically not only a stop but add a color or stop the color it's one or the other and then what I want to do here is we get two values zero which is basically from zero to one meaning zero percent till one hundred percent and then we define basically where on the scale it will be in percentage so whatever here the pixels is it will calculate the percentage in that way so then if I say 0%, it will start at the very top, matching this here. Then what I want to do here is I want to give it a color. So to make it very simple, I'm going to just going to grab this color here and put it in there. So once we did this, then what I want to do is I want to copy this, put another one. Let's say here 1, which would mean at the very end, 100% of the vertical level, so at the very bottom. And let's make that very solid black by making this a clear value alpha or no transparency and 100% solid. So once we did this, I need to copy this and reassign that here. Save that. Refresh. And now you can see here it is gradually transforming from one color to another or from light to dark. So what we want to do now is the transition. We want to change that a bit more. So let's play around with it. And let's say halfway through I want a black transition and then I want to transition back to light. How do we do this? Well, remember here we have these numbers. So we can say halfway through, I want to have 50%. So at 50%, it becomes black. And then what I will do is I just copy this. And I will say after at 100%, I want to go back. So it will go gradually to black and then gradually back to its original color. Let's save that. Refresh. And there you are. You can see we have this nice item. Let's do one more thing. It's called an instant transition from one to another. So let's grab another color and let's say I want this reddish color here. Now I want to have an instant transition once we hit at the bottom. So let's say here at 90%, so 0 0.9, that will be this. And then what I will say is from here all the way to one, I want to change a color. I want to have an instant red color like that. And here as well. So this will not even transition, it will just instantly, or well, not gradually transition, it will instantly shift to different color. And as you can see here, that works.